We're asked to find the remainder of two to the power of 2019 when divided by two, five, seven, and nine. To begin, we should be able to recognize that two to the power of 2019 is a multiple of two, and therefore if we divide by two, the remainder is going to be zero. However, we could also answer this question using congruence by finding the smallest positive x, such that x is congruent to two to the power of 2019 mod two. So let's also show this method. To begin, we look at powers of two mod two. And by the way, notice two is congruent to zero mod two. And therefore to begin, we can write two to the power of 2019 is congruent to itself mod two. And because two is congruent to zero mod two, we can replace two with zero, which gives us zero to the power of 2019 is congruent to two to the power of 2019 mod two. Simplifying, we have zero is congruent to two to the power of 2019 mod two. Because zero is greater than or equal to zero and less than two, we now know zero is a remainder when two to the power of 2019 is divided by two. I do want to mention, we are using the fact if a is congruent to b mod n, then a to the power of p is congruent to b to the power of p mod n. And this is just property three under congruence in arithmetic used multiple times. And now to determine the remainder when dividing by five. We will answer this question using congruence by determining the smallest positive x such that x is congruent to two to the power of 2019 mod five. We now begin looking at powers of two mod five and hopefully find a power of two that is congruent to one mod five. Two is congruent to two mod five. Two squared or four is congruent to four mod five. Two cubed or eight is congruent to three mod five. And notice two to the fourth or 16 is congruent to one mod five. 16 divided by five does have a remainder of one. We can use this congruence to help determine the remainder when dividing by five. For the next step, we want to write two to the power of 2019 as a power of two to the fourth. To do this, we'll be using the exponent properties shown here below, but we also need to determine how many fours there are in 2019. Let's do this by dividing. We have a quotient of 504 and a remainder of three. This indicates we can write two to the power of 2019 as two to the fourth raised to the power of 504 times two cubed. Notice four times 504 plus three does give us 2019 factors of two. Also notice 504 was the quotient and three was the remainder. From here, because two to the power of four is congruent to one mod five and two cubed is congruent to three mod five, we can replace two to the fourth with one and two cubed with three. This gives us one to the power of 504 times three is congruent to two to the power of 2019 mod five. Simplifying, we just have three is congruent to two to the power of 2019 mod five. Three is greater than or equal to zero and less than five, indicating three is a remainder when two to the power of 2019 is divided by five. And now let's consider the remainder when dividing by seven. We set up our congruence. X is congruent to two to the power of 2019 mod seven, and then determine X, where X must be greater than or equal to zero and less than seven. Once again, we look at powers of two mod seven. Two is congruent to two mod seven. Two squared is congruent to four mod seven. Two to the third is congruent to one mod seven. And this will be helpful to determine the remainder. We now want to write two to the power of 2019 as a power of two cubed. To do this, we need to determine how many threes there are in 2019. In this case, notice the quotient is 673 and the remainder is zero. This indicates there are exactly 673 threes in 2019. We can write two to the power of 2019 as two cubed raised to the power of 673. And because two cubed is congruent to one mod seven, we can now replace two cubed with one, and one to the power of 673 is equal to one, giving us one is congruent to two to the power of 2019 mod seven, indicating when two to the power of 2019 is divided by seven, the remainder is one. And for our last example, we want to determine the remainder when dividing by nine. 
So again, we set up the congruence. X is congruent to 2 to the power of 2019 mod 9 and begin by determining congruences for powers of 2 mod 9. So far, nothing's too helpful. Let's keep going. 2 to the power of 5 is 32, which is congruent to 5 mod 9. Let's keep going. 2 to the power of 6, which is equal to 64, is congruent to 1 mod 9. 64 is equal to 7 times 9 plus 1. We can use this congruence to help us determine the remainder. The next step is to write 2 to the power of 2019 as a power of 2 to the 6th by determining how many 6's there are in 2019. Let's go ahead and divide. We have 336 with a remainder of 3, which indicates we can write 2 to the power of 2019 as 2 to the 6th raised to the power of 336, and then we have 3 remaining factors of 2, which we express as 2 cubed. From here, 2 to the 6th is congruent to 1 mod 9. We can replace 2 to the 6th with 1, and 2 cubed is congruent to 8 mod 9. We can replace 2 cubed with 8. Simplifying, we have 8 is congruent to 2 to the power of 2019 mod 9. 8 is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 9. When 2 to the power of 2019 is divided by 9, the remainder is 8. I hope you found this helpful.